are being killed. And the worst of them that we heard of in this previous week was that of over a hundred children, a hundred innocent children being murdered and brutally shot at in, in a school in Peshawar. How can this be that someone can raise a gun towards young, in, innocent children in a school studying? This is not from our religion. And we're not speaking in an apologetic manner because these people who do these brutalities, they've got no relationship with Islam. They've got no relationship with the Prophet of Islam. Even though they might, even though they might camouflage themselves with the suits of Islam outwardly, their inner selves have no Islam within them. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had a daughter, Sayyida Zainab radiallahu anha. She had a young child and that young child was extremely ill. Such an illness that the young child was about to pass away. Sayyida Zainab radiallahu anha sent a message to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam saying, O oh father, please come and attend the final moments of my child in this world. Upon hearing this, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said to the companions who are around him, come, stand up, let's go to the house of my daughter Sayyida Zainab radiallahu anha. So they all went to the house of Sayyida Zainab radiallahu anha and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam took that baby child, that young child in his blessed hands. And as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was holding that blessed child, that baby infant child in his blessed hands, they, they saw that the baby child's eyes closed and its soul left the body and the child died. Upon this, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam had tears from his blessed eyes and he cried. And it was as if the Sahaba had never seen him cry in such a situation. They said to him, Awatabki ya Rasulullah, Messenger of Allah, do you cry? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Inna ma hiya rahmatun, ja'alaha Allahu fi qulubi man sha'a min ibadih. These tears that you see, Dropping from my eyes, these are the tears of mercy that Allah has placed in the hearts of all of people. So when a baby child dies, when a person leaves this world, someone who doesn't have tears in their eyes, they have no mercy in their heart. And when people hear of brutality like that of the school in Peshawar, of over a hundred children being slaughtered, and if people don't, if people's hearts don't move, if people's hearts don't shake, then that's an indication that there's no mercy left upon the earth. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an, when he would lead a janazah, when a janazah would be brought in front of him, people would say to him, Oh Umar, stand up and speak to the people. Remind them about death. Remind them about this journey that we have to make to the next life. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an used to say, Kafa bil mawti wa iza. He used to say, if this scene of a dead person in front of you is not enough of a reminder, then my words will not remind you. If seeing a dead person in front of you doesn't shake your heart and doesn't move your emotions towards the hereafter and the next life, he said, my words will give you no benefit. So we have to remember that over a hundred children were brutally murdered in Peshawar and hundreds of children are dying across the world through murder. People are being killed all over the globe. If scenes like that don't shake our hearts and don't move our tears from our eyes, then we have to realize that something's missing in our hearts. And what's missing is mercy, is mercy. And mercy is the greatest thing that me and you can have. Why? Because at the beginning of every surah of the Quran al-Kareem,